Hi, hi everyone. Uh, a warm welcome you to the demonstration of the People Link uh, interactive display uh, features. So, in the interactive display, we have a five variant depending on the size. So, there is 55 inch, 65 inch, 75 inch, 86 inch, and 90 inch. So, all these display have got a IR touch feature. So that is nothing but a infrared touch feature, and uh, this display has got a 415 nits of brightness and uh, 1200 is to one of contrast ratio, and the LED uh, lifetime will be the 50,000 hours, and it has got a 20 touch points where uh, the people, 20 people can simultaneously use this display at a time, and uh, it has got a inbuilt operating system that is the Android 11 version and it has got a quad core processor which uh, has got a 4 GB RAM and the 32 GB storage in it and uh, when it comes to the input and output interface in the front uh, of front interface we have got a one HDMI input and uh, one USB type B for the touch annotation and we have got the two USB 3.0 ports and we have got a one type C port in the front interface as well when it comes to the rear interface we have got a three HDMI input there and two USB 3.0 and one uh, type B USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports and uh, we have got a one more uh, two more inputs called one VJ and one DP as well and it has got a, a LAN port as well where uh, by connecting the single LAN to the interactive display it will be works for the both Android as well as Windows as well. So it has got a 80 pin of uh, OPS slot where you can able to install the OPS uh, into it and you can have a Windows experience in it. So simply we can say it has got a dual operating system one is Android and one is Windows and uh, it will come with the three stylus pen two are we uh, we can kept on the uh, interactive panel only by the magnetic uh, attached slot and one will be the long uh, annotation sticks and uh, it has got a if you go to the settings in this you will get a multiple option to control the and uh, adjust the the display settings based on your convenience so in the common setting you will uh, get a automatic uh, sleep option and uh, boot channel and OPS boot option and if you want to see the the display temperature in the Celsius or you can able to see the the temperature in the Fahrenheit as well it has got a one feature that when the display temperature goes above 60 degree it will give you the brief notification that uh, display is in the high temperature and uh, it has got a consumer electronics control that is CEC so where you can able to turn on the display by uh, uh, waking on through the HDMI as well as the LAN port and uh, it has got a tech, uh, gesture feature of when you put your five fingers on the display for the long time so the automatically display will go off and if you want to block the all the USB ports so you have an option here that is use disk storage disabled if you uh, enable this so the all the USB ports will be disabled and it has got a one HDMI output where you can able to connect the extended display and uh, in that you can able to choose the resolution as well if you have a 2k displays so you can uh, select the 2k at 60 Hertz and if you have a 4k display supported and you can choose the 4k 60 Hertz option here and in the when it comes to the network it has got the both wireless as well as uh, wired uh, network options in the wireless it support the both uh, 5 and 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth and in the wired network also it support the both 5 and uh, 2.4 gigahertz network and uh, it has got the inbuilt uh, hotspot as well and in the next status you can able to see the uh, the complete uh, configuration and as well as specification of the network which you are connected for example you can able to see the ip address and the mac address and dns and gateway information as well in this and in the uh, it has got the inbuilt bluetooth as well you can able to connect the bluetooth uh, ferry parallels to it and here the option to turn on and turn off the bluetooth option and in the display and volume uh, option you can able to adjust the brightness as well as uh, volume of the display and if you want to have a sound effect when you touch the monitor so you can enable this and if you want to lock the screen with the password you can choose this uh, option by adding the password you can able to lock the display and you can able to uh, change the uh, uh, this uh, wallpaper as per your uh, requirement
and in the storage and application you, you can able to see the what all uh, applications are installed in this uh, display and uh, in this internal storage you can see the how much percentage uh, the storage is utilized so currently it has used 36% of the storage we had used in this display and in the scheduled power on and off you can uh, set the display to auto boot or uh, auto shut down so you can choose the date and time when the display has to be on and when the display has to be shut down you can choose the date and time for that here and in the time and language you can able to uh, choose the time zone if wherever you are there in the uh, that zone you can choose that zone and uh, this display will automatically detect that time and uh, date of the that, that particular zone and uh, in the language input you can able to select the that keyboard uh, language and the style of that and uh, you can able to choose the complete display language defaultly it will be in the english and in the about device so you can able to see the device name and if you want to do the factory reset setting you can do here and if you have any if the display has any updates or firmware updates or the any application update we can do from uh, here and it will show the firmware version which uh, current current display has it will show that as well here this interactive display has got a inbuilt writing board software so that is nothing but a whiteboard so this has got a wide variety of features including artificial intelligence features as well we'll go one by one so we'll start with the the pen colors so in this option you can able to choose the different colors of pen which are you want and this has got a dual pen option as well here you can see two option one is clean pen one is fire pen so you can choose the slim pen for the white and uh, you can choose the another different color for the part pen so if you write with the very uh, thin uh, slim pen so you will get a red white color and for the, which is the same color of pen so if you use the uh, fat pen you will get the different color so this is the dual pen option where uh, you can able to use this for the explain the different different uh, features in the classroom as well as in the meeting rooms and it has got a ai uh, features like uh, text recognition as well as shape recognition so the text recognition means if you are writing with your handwriting it will convert to the actual handwriting so for example so you can i am writing with my handwriting it will convert to the actual font and the same way if you to the shape recognition if you writing any circle it will convert with the actual circle and uh, in the same way in the eraser option if you want to delete particular color content so if you want to delete only red color of the content you go to the eraser select the color and you just drag it only red color will be deleted if you want to delete the white color as well so go to the eraser and uh, select the color you just drag it so the that particular color will be got erased and in the shape so you can able to uh, directly you will get a uh, prepared uh, 2d and uh, 3d ready made 2d and 3d images you will get you can able to add that with the different colors you can choose the color and uh, you can add a different color of 3d images in this and uh, in the text option you can able to uh, add a text in this so if you for example in that you have a option of bold tilt stretch underline as well as delete as well so you can if you choose the bold and tilt so you can write here so that text will be on the bold so this you can by selecting this you can copy or you can uh, increase that as well and if you want to delete this just select delete and select delete and in the next we have a in the tools you have a different uh, mathematics tools option that is the ruler and uh, next we have a protector and next we have a compass by using compass you can able to to draw the circle uh, select the pen 
can able to draw this circle and uh, in the tools you have a square 60 and square 45 scale as well so next we have a option of single and multi-touch multi-touch means uh, multiple people can able to use this software at a time in the single we have only one user can able to select and can able to write on the board and if you want to clear this complete entire thing you just click on the clear so entire uh, content will be deleted and in the you can use the undo and redo to go the, go to the previous and uh, next uh, uh, operations and next in the menu we have a open option where you can able to open the pdf or uh, any image format and you can add that into the uh, whiteboard and you can annotate on that as well and you can save this into the local folder with giving the path to that particular uh, path to that you can save it in the jpg png or pdf or wbf or svg or iwb format and next we have a email option where you can able to add the email to this and you can send to the audience and uh, you can have a multiple email in this at a time and you can send to the uh, all the emails at a time and next we have a background so in this you can able to choose the background whatever you want if you want to have a grid line you can choose the grid line and if you want to have a solid color you can choose the uh, different color of the background here and in the other you can choose your uh, local storage uh, background images as a background here and in next we have a web browser where you can able to uh, if you want to search directly from here for example if you want to a teacher wants to show the brain so he will directly open the browser which is inbuilt in this uh, writing board software he can go directly go to the browser and he, he has to just just take the screenshot of this and that will be automatically copied here and he can select and he can bring and he can enlarge it and he can annotate it on this and this is how this uh, web browser will work and next we have a uh, sticky notes you can uh, teachers can or uh, the presenter can add a sticky notes on that only and it has got a split screen mode so where uh, there are four members multiple wants to uh, use this uh, interactive board with the different color of pen so this uh, split, split mode uh, can be used this four it will segregate into the four different whiteboard with the different colors and this can be saved in the local storage as well and next we have a annotation if you want to annotate on any particular application so you can annotate like this and if you want to go back to the writing board software you, you just click on the back and next we have a in the more option we we can distinguish between the the pen and the stylus stylus pen and the finger and you have a, a remember of background option in this and you have a smart uh, eye protection option in this and you can able to choose the shape of the eraser whichever you want and it has got a data recovery method and uh, it has got a option to select the split screen uh, default count which one you want two three or four you can choose based on your uh, convenience and uh, if you want to share this complete content through the qr code so this is the qr code uh, by scanning this qr code you can able to download the, this complete content by using your mobile phone camera and if you want to protect that uh, through the password you can add the password here and whenever you scan that so it will ask for the uh, password and then by entering the password only you can able to uh, download the, this particular content and if you want to minimize this click on the minimize you will get minimized if you want to clear this everything just click on the clear so the, uh, the whiteboard will be clear done